Eagle Lodge is beginning to tire, but there's still plenty of power in the Royal Horse. And now it's ESB taking up the challenge as Eagle Lodge drops back. But Devon Locke's going strongly at jump 29, and he looks to the crowd as though a Royal wins a certainty. Into the final straight with victory in sight for Devon Locke. He's clear away from ESB and Gentle Boyer. Only 40 yards to go. Devon Locke can't lose. But he slipped. He's down. ESB streaks past to win by 10 lengths, with Gentle Moyer second and Royal Tan third. Devon Locke's on his feet again, but it's too late. The most tragic defeat in Grand National history. Dick Francis walks off the track in tears, a bitterly disappointed man, while Devon Locke is led away. But it's uh, out in front, Black Appalachi, Dennis O'Regan, by the best part of 15 lengths now as they come to the elbow. He comes towards it, he gets around it, and being pushed out by Dennis O'Regan, it's Black Appalachi who's run them into the ground here. A great exhibition over the national fences. He comes up to the line to win as he likes. Black Appalachi is going to walk away with it. He wins it by a distance. Mr. Pointman is literally walking. He can't go any further faster and he's now going to be passed by Ulart as they come up towards the last 50 yards. Ulart on the inside has now gone into second place. Now Mr. Pointman gets a second wind. He sees something to chase and he's come back and he's got up for second. What an amazing feature of this race. He's got a good lead as they run towards the final turn. It's Mike Bite pouring it on here. Whisper into second and then Bells Hill also staying on a bit. He just begins to nut away on the leader as they race to the final term but might bite by a mile as they run towards the left-hander might bite by 20 lengths whisper and bells hill chasing hard he's still got to get up the hill might bite here's the second last he jumps it well he sailed over in second whisper then bells hill and alpha des Obo. the final fence for might bite oh not his best effort but he gets away with it whisper trying to close and might bite is beginning to paddle he's drifting off a true line he hangs fire and whispers coming home straight as a gun barrel Dicko de Boinville tries to straighten out my bite who rallies on the near side my bite coming back a whisper it's tight my bite on the near side a whisper still about two and a half lengths away is what's the scoop Bad Boy de Paul Dieu, what's the scoop, are coming towards the near side. Meanwhile, Late Naspel is keeping Starving Marvin right over, isolated in the centre of the course. He'll be right on the far side of the next flight of hurdles. So they race down towards the second last. Bad Boy de Paul Dieu has checked out quite quickly, and now it's what's the scoop who's going to be the big danger to Starving Marvin. There was little between them as they got over the second last. Now a very short run towards the final flight. Bad Boy de Paul Dieu is going to be pulled up before the last. Last. Only two are possibly going to get home. What's the scoop? Is at the last. He stood a long way off it, but he's over safely. In second, Starvin Marvin, who's stopping to a walk. And now the leader, what's the scoop, has run out. He's run right off the course, almost into the crowd. And Starvin Marvin, who is virtually walking up the hill, has been handed the most unlikely and most dramatic of victories. Starvin Marvin who broke his maiden back in January of 2012. See the world that has the advantage. He's a charmer's not going to be winning. That one has faded into about fifth. And it is see the world with Aidan Coleman. He's might have just dropped one of his reins. He's having trouble. And this one, this one's running off the track. He's got issues, Aidan Coleman. And that is the end of that. He's trying to pull see the world up. And it's left Lincoln County in front. Lincoln County to act now. Dramatic change in the race. He looks unsteerable, didn't he? See the world there. And Lincoln County has now gone about eight to ten lengths clear of act now. Then Brother Key, see the world. Coleman is straightening him out again. Maybe the equipment just let him down. I'm not sure. They're away then from he's a charmer. And then it's about time, followed by glance back. McCoy having to get into the drive now on Lincoln County, leading the way. Look at see the world rallying again. And he's, he's storming home, absolutely flying after this leader. And it is Lincoln County, see the world. This would be incredible if he's going to get there. And he's going to sweep on by. I don't believe what we've seen. See the world has won it. And he can't hardly pull him up in the end, Aidan Coleman. Towards the back of the field in these early stages, along with the gutter son and also at a glance, they 
complete the last trio. So drill Sargent, at least 12 lengths clear with the circuit to go from Robert Hugh Nutter, who's gone four lengths clear of Villani, who will turn third in front of Stevie Thunder. Then comes Mr. Wall Street, who's racing in company with Daggerman. Paul Stat is in the midfield with Morning Farewell. After those races, Wild Desert, and the leader has stopped. The leader's pulled himself up, heading out into the country. Drill Sergeant, when he was racing 12 lengths clear, uh, put the brakes on in no uncertain terms and now finds himself absolutely stone bonking last. Drill Sergeant over the second last by just over a length from Mr. Wall Street. Morning farewell with the cheek pieces. Now goes second. Brother Bob down the outside is closing in on the leader as well. Drill Sergeant has a fight on his hand. Brother Bob under Richard Johnson draws level at the last. They land together. Morning farewell with every chance between the two. Wild Desert five lengths back is in fourth. It's Drill Sergeant finding a bit more again on the run-in from Brother Bob. Morning farewell fading in the final hundred yards. It's still Drill Sergeant from Brother Bob and Drill Sergeant who virtually stopped at halfway has won the finale in extraordinary manner.